Okay. Um, so uh, when you have your game in a place that you're ready to do some user testing, you're going to want to export a build of the game. Um, and a build is basically just like, uh, you know, an executable game file that other people can actually play. Um, and so it's sort of like exporting a JPEG from Photoshop or exporting a model from Blender, something like that. Um, but it's a, you know, it's a full application. Um, and so uh, Godot makes that pretty easy to do on multiple different platforms, which is one of the main reasons why we use things like game engines, because um, they do things for us that would be very challenging to do on our own. Um, so a couple things that we just want to set up before we go to export, uh, and there's a, a lot of settings that you might want to play with, but I'm just going to go over a couple. So if we go to project, go to project settings, um, you might want to go to the, uh, the run section under application and just set the main scene. The main scene is what's going to open when your game starts. Um, I'm actually going to change this to level two just because it has more stuff in it. It doesn't really matter for this demo. I'm just kind of showing. Um, but you'll want to make sure that this is either the level you're working on or in the future, if you add like a menu and, you know, an intro scene, stuff like that, you'll want to make sure that wherever the game starts is that main scene. Um, if you want to set an image for the, uh, you know, uh, application that comes up as it's loading, you can do that here. Um, and then for the display, there's a couple things you might want to set here. So I have my viewport width and height. I'm just going to leave those as is. You can set to windowed, minimize, maximize, full screen, exclusive full screen. Um, I'm just going to leave this at the default windowed. But if you want your game to be full screen, this is where you would set it. Uh, just make sure that you have a way of getting out of it um, if you have that. And then you can say whether or not people can resize it. I usually have this turned off, so I don't have to worry about that. But you might want yours to be resizable. Um, and then another thing that you might want to check here is if you go to advanced settings, there is a section called uh, DPI. And allow H uh, high DPI is basically, are you going to allow retina screens to kind of condense the, the game into a smaller section? Um, I'm usually going to turn this off, actually. But if you have code that kind of accounts for this, it'll change the way the game looks if you're on a high density screen. Um, but I don't have that. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn this off. Um, there's a bunch of other settings in here, but those are kind of the default things we want to make sure we have. Once we've got that ready, we can go to project and go to export. And then here you're going to have to add an export preset. Um, I thought I had set this up, but I guess I did it on a different computer. So what you're going to want to do is click add and go to Mac. And then, yeah, this is going to take a second. Um, I thought I'd done this already, but that's OK. Um, so if you see this red text down here, what that means is that you don't have downloaded the, the export template. It doesn't download all of them right away, because if you don't need them, it obviously takes up uh, space on your computer. So we're just going to click to go over here and click Download and Install for the Mac. And so if you're on a Windows or a Mac, you're going to want to do this for both. Um, fortunately, the download doesn't take too long. But since we have people using both Mac and PC, we want our games to be available for both. Um, so we're all going to do do both Mac and PC um, as exports. Uh, so once this is done, we can go back. Um, so I'm going to click Close here, go back to Export. And let's also add a Windows desktop. Um, and it looks like oh, maybe I downloaded the Windows one for some reason. Uh, anyway, so we're, we're going to do Mac first. So the first thing we need to set is where we want it to go. Um, so this is the export path. Um, you can also change the name of it if you want to. You don't really need to. Uh, so I'm going to click on this folder, and I'm going to make a new folder called Builds. Um, as we kind of looked at earlier, this is going to be ignored by our Git repo by default. Um, so that's good. But just make sure it's only going to ignore it if you spell it the same way, so capital B. Um, but you know, just you don't want to upload these to, to GitHub because you can always just rebuild them. There's no reason to save them. Um, so then we need to give this a file name. I'm going to call this uh, my game and click save. And you can still there's see there's still some red text. There's one thing that we actually have to do 
um, before we can export this. Mac requires you to have a, what's called a bundle identifier. This is like a unique ID that's associated with the app. We don't really need to worry about this in real life because we're not going to publish this on the App Store, but that's what it would be for if we if we did. So I'm just going to come up with a you know generic one. I'm just going to say mea 300 uh, test build. Really doesn't matter what you write here. Um, and if you want to add a different icon, you can. You can choose, like, you know, I have this MEA 300 icon. You can put an icon there. Uh, there's a bunch of other settings here, but I think you can leave these all on the defaults. Um, the only reason you would change these settings is if you have problems, and then we could we could look at those together. One thing that you might want to do is go to the resources section. By default, you can just include everything in the project, but if you have, like, a lot of other files in there, if you're starting to notice that your build uh, your builds are really large in file size, you might want to go to selected scenes or you can manually select the resources that you want to include in your build. I'm going to leave this on default for now and just hope that it works okay. Now we're going to click export project. Um, do not click export pack. That's not what we want. We want export project. Um, so we're going to export project into our builds folder and you can turn export with debug on or off. If you turn, if you leave debug on, it's going to run this console in the background, so you'll be able to see errors. Um, so for now, we can just leave that on. It doesn't really matter. And I'm going to click Save. And it's going to build that. And for a Mac, the nice thing is that it just makes one file. It's a little bit different for PC, and we'll see that in a moment. But as long as uh, when we're making the Mac build, it just makes, um, where's my, I don't know, it's here. Okay, so here's my builds folder. There's mygame.dmg. And you want to test this before you upload it because it might not run right. There might be some error. So you want to make sure to actually run this. So if I open this, it's going to open this DMG. You can see this is the uh, this is the debug one. So if I open this, I'll see that, uh, that error list. So if you do get errors or if it doesn't work, you might want to try opening it with this and see if there's any errors there. But this is the main game file. So if I open this, it'll it should run on the Mac. It's going to run by default for me because I created it. But um, if you download my game, like this build or one of your classmates' builds on the Mac, it's probably not going to let you run it um, right away. Um, and so I'll show you what you need to do in a second. But this actually seems to be running, so that's great. I can jump. I can walk around. So this is great. So this is working. And if I hit Escape, it should quit. Um, so that looks good. Make sure you, you run it first. If you get any errors, you can open this, um, this command one, and then you'll see these errors. And so, you know, it'll print out if you, if you have any issues in this console. Um, okay. So if you, but if you're playing somebody else's game, probably what's going to happen when you open this is going to tell you you're not allowed to. Um, what you need to do is right click and click open. And it may say like, do you really want to do that or something like that? And you can just say yes, and then you'll be able to run it. Okay, so that's our Mac build. That's pretty easy. When we upload it to itch.io, you can just upload a DMG, um, but it's better to upload a zip. So you'll notice that this is 55 megabytes. That's a lot, but it's not too crazy for a video game, so we're not going to worry about that too much. Um, it's probably probably fine. But I am going to compress this, so I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to go to Compress, and then that zip file is what I'm going to upload to to itch.io, it didn't really save any any space, but um, that's okay. It it'll kind of keep it. And when we compress things and we put it in a zip file, that means that it's gonna look the same on the other end. So that's good. Okay, so that's our Mac build. Um, we might want to rename this so we know what it is. We could say Mac build. Um, so let's go back to Godot and go to Windows. And so we're gonna do the same thing here. Uh, we're going to choose a path, but for this one, I'm going to do this a little bit differently because Windows ex exports two files. It exports an executable, and then it exports this thing called a pack file that has our binary data in it, and we want to put those together. So I'm going to create a file and call this Windows, and I'm going to leave my game as the same, so I'll save this. And I don't think I need to change any settings here at all. So I think I can just go straight to export. There is an issue with the icon, and there's a way to kind of fix that. I'm not going to go over that now. But if you really want your um, your own icon in here, um, you can follow the directions in the yellow text here. Um, but this looks good. I can change this to debug here as well. I can say debug um, or debug and release or no. 
And then again, I want to hit export project, not export pack, not export all, just export project. So I'm going to hit export project and click save. And that's OK. And so it's going to do that for a second. And then we're going to see in this Windows folder, now you can see there's actually three files because we have the debug file again. So the executable is uh, what runs the game. And then this pack file has some assets in it. So you can see the game engine is actually most of the d data that's being used. It's almost 70 megabytes, whereas our, our data, our pack file is only two megabytes. Um, so for somebody to be able to use this, they have to be able to download all of those at the same time. So we're going to zip our windows as well. So I'm going to right click and go to compress. And this is our windows build. Um, I could, I guess I should rename this to stay consistent. So I'll rename this windows build. And so now we're going to upload these to itch.io. Um, so I'm going to switch over to Chrome and go to itch.io. I'm already logged in. So if you're logged in, you can be on your creator dashboard. If you're not on the dashboard, if you're on like the home page, um, you can just click on your username and that'll take you, uh, or let's actually, this will take me here, but I want to go to the dashboard. So I'm going to click this drop down, go to dashboard, and I'm going to create a new project. Um, so uh, I'll go to, where is, oh, it's all the way down here. So I can scroll down and click create new project. I think there's also a button here to create, yeah, upload new project. Either one of those buttons will do the same thing. So we don't have to fill in everything here, but we do have to fill in a few default things. So we need a title. So we could say my game, MEA 300, spring 2024, or whatever you want to put here, just something that'll create a little URL. So they'll make up a URL for you. You can change this to be whatever you want. We don't need a tagline, but you can add that. We can leave the classification and the kind of project. For release status, we could say in development. It doesn't really matter. Um, for pricing, we're just going to do no payments. If you want to do payments, you can, but that's a whole other thing. You have to put in a credit card and do all this stuff. Um, I'm not going to do that. OK, so now we can just upload our files. So we're going to upload, and we're going to go to our project folder. This is in a slightly different place on my home computer than where it is in the lab, um, but we can find it here. And so I'm going to start with my Mac build. And while that's going, I'm going to go ahead and upload my Windows build as well. So I'm going to have two different builds. And I'm going to specify here. So this one is the Mac. So I'll click on the little Apple icon. This one is the Windows. Um, and there we go. You can also upload stuff and then hide it just to kind of have it there. You can add a description if you want. Uh, you can say, check out my game. Um, and we'll do some user testing next week. So we'll set some stuff up for that. You can choose a genre, tags if you want. This isn't necessary. Um, you can add some instructions for what to do. You could say, unzip the download file. Um, and we can leave comments on, or if you want to turn off comments, that's fine. Then the last thing that you have to remember to do um, once we save and view page, it's not actually publicly available yet. So if I send this, if I don't do anything else and I send this link to somebody, this is what you're going to get. You're going to get a 404. Um, so itch will not let you publish something until you've reviewed it once. So now that we've seen it, we have to go back. You can see it says draft here. So now we can go back and now public is available. So now we can save and now we can go here. So if I open this in an incognito tab, now you see the actual game. You can click to download and you can play it. We already tested this, but you might want to, if you have access, easy access to a Windows, you might want to go test it over there. I always go and test it again. So I'm going to actually download what I uploaded. Um, even though this I know is going to work, um, you never know. Sometimes you'll have errors that you didn't have before. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and, and actually download my build, my Mac build anyway, and give it a test. Just make sure it works. So we get the DMG. I'm going to run this build. Um, and see, this is actually, this is a good point. This is what it's going to say. It won't let you open this because it can't uh, check it. And I'm going to say, OK. So then I'm going to right click and click Open. 
and it's going to say, okay, we'll let you open this, but you have to say open again. And now you can do it. I don't know if Windows does that, but Mac does that. So now I am getting a, a little, oh, there we go. Okay, so it still works. So that's what I wanted to know. And so that's all good. So I'll hit escape to get out of here. I'm just going to delete this download and get out of here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's look at that in a minute. Um, you could do a screen share and there's probably just like a, you know, it's, it's probably, um, something we can fix pretty easily, I think. Um, uh, I guess that's it. Um, you know, we'll, we'll share these links later. So once you have this, you can, you can just copy a link and paste it into wherever you want to share it with people. So I just put it in the chat. Um, if you really want to like change the way this page looks, you can do that here. So you can, you know, change the colors and do different stuff. Obviously you don't need to do that, but if you, if you want to, at some point you can, you can make changes here. Um, and we may talk about some other stuff with itch at some point, but for now, this is really just to get the game somewhere where it's easy for other people to get access to it. Um, so let's see, do I need to do anything else? Let's just update our GitHub real quick. Uh, cause I keep, I want to make sure to remember to do that. So let's go to GitHub. So we want to just make sure that we're not uploading any of our builds. Um, so we talked about this before, but in our repo settings, we have builds here. So that means it's going to ignore all the builds as long as they're in that folder. Um, and so you can see here, we don't have any of those builds and that's good. We don't want, we don't want any builds in here because um, they, they're very large files and they, we, we can, we, the whole point of a build is that we can make it again, um, but we want other people to be able to access it, but we don't need it in our, in our project folder. So I'm going to commit this. So I'm going to say uh, adds uh, new models and I'm going to commit to main and then push to origin. Okay, so that's it for now. I'll stop there and we can look at any bugs or go over any questions um, and then go from there.